and we're here at the Los Angeles Asian Pacific Film Festival with one of the great filmmakers here, and they're presenting their movie. So can you tell us a little about your film, and who are you? I'm Shirley Thompson. I'm the editor and producer of Finding Kukan from Honolulu. Very cool. Wow. Well, welcome to California. We're sunny, maybe not as sunny as Hawaii, but we try. So, uh, Finding Kukan, um, can you tell us about this film? What's it about, and, and, and why are you here today? Well, we're here um, very excitedly doing our Los Angeles premiere of Finding Kukan. Uh, Finding Kukan is a documentary, uh, eight years in the making, about the first the first documentary that was awarded an Oscar in 1942 and the Chinese American woman from Hawaii who produced it. Oh, very cool. So, you know, um, this is kind of elephant in the room, but mm -hmm. LA Asian American or Asian Pacific Film Festival, right? There's mm -hmm. obviously a lot of Asian American filmmakers and, mm -hmm. and are you Asian yourself or are you part Asian or, uh, and if not, then, you know, that's perfectly fine, of course, but what made you feel compelled to get involved in this sort mm -hmm. of project? Well, um, I'm a Latina. My mother's from Chile, uh, so and I grew up in New Orleans, the daughter of two immigrants. So um, I've always felt like I've been sort of like one foot in one culture, one foot in another culture. And I feel like the work that I've done as a documentarian has always reflected that. Um, my filmmaking partner is Chinese, Robin Lung, the director of the film. My husband, who is the uh, director of photography, is also Chinese, Stanford Chang. So, um, so I also have one foot in each world in that way as well. Uh, I love the idea of making films that sort of bridge cultures. And, and this is one of those stories because Li Ling I herself uh, was born in the territory of Hawaii. Oh, she was Chinese American, but at a time when a Chinese, Chinese were not, were barely God. considered citizens. Heroic and uh, and she was a Chinese woman at that. Oh, and for mm -hmm. her to have yeah. the uh, courage and the chutzpah to attempt oh, to oh, make a film she had never made a film before, and, but she loved China. She believed that one day China and America would need to have a relationship because China was up and coming. And she wanted Americans to, to understand China and maybe grow to love China the way that she loved China. So she, um, you know, just on her own decided, you know what, I think I need to make a film. Because if people Chinese saw China, if Americans could see um, how Chinese people lived and you know what they believed in, um, they would understand Chinese and, and then our relations would be better. And she was thinking this in 1937. So she was very prescient, very ahead of her time, yeah. Well, and, and you know that's that's amazing because you know here at Pacific uh, Rim we're all about trying to talk for the marginalized voices mm -hmm. to try to let them be heard and um, you know an interesting perspective I think that you bring is uh, being a bit outside of the Asian American uh, or being an Asian American in general mm -hmm. uh, being able to see it and and through those eyes what have you seen what have the struggles has it been um, how has that helped influence how you present the subject matter and and, and your cause. Well, really what inspired us all the way through was this amazing character of Li Ling Ai. She um, was a maverick. She was a really just a, a tough, ballsy woman who was just persistent, that, right? persistent and, and determined to get things done um, against all odds. And so we took, we took a page from her book and said, look, if she could do it in 1937, we can do it today. Yeah. So we really want to tell this story. And what also came through for us was this um, just sort of realizing, recognizing whose history gets saved and recorded and passed down and whose history does not, right? And so what we learned is, you know, history is almost always written from the perspective of the rich and the powerful. And uh, women's stories, rarely recorded. Women of color stories, even less so. And so we, uh, this whole idea of sort of uncovering through a, this detective story, this history detective story, uncovering this woman's history. She was a lost heroine. She was a hero that I didn't get a chance to grow up with, that where I didn't get to look up and say, wow, this woman made this film that won an Oscar in 1942, and if she could do it, I could do it. Yeah. Right, so so I was. You will do it. That's that's you know, a key. You so, will do it. So we filmmakers, we were all kind of robbed of having this amazing woman to look up to, and so our hope is that women in the future will will know this history and will have Li Ling Ai as a as a heroine to look up to. 
And that's so cool that you bring up the history of Asian Americans, and, and, and they're part of the rich tapestry, especially in, in, in media. When you think about Sesu Hayakawa and all of those, you know, that are lost. So in this film, um, are you going to move forward with uh, maybe more Asian American themed things, or is it just any marginalized voices which you'd like to discuss? Well, what's what's amazing about living in Hawaii is there's a million stories yeah. there yeah. that that. That it's an incredible tapestry of Asian history and Asian culture, and um, and the stories are there that are waiting to be told. And so we're super excited about doing more work and telling more stories about the people in Hawaii. And, uh, and let me ask in Hawaii. So, what is the Asian uh, American filmmaker community like there? Like here in Los Angeles, we have you know obviously this festival going on, New York, my, you know different parts of the United States, but in Hawaii, uh, very. Not necessarily isolated, but much different from the, the mainland, I would imagine, right? So uh, what's it like over there? We are a tiny island in the middle of the ocean, so isolated would actually not be a, an incorrect word. But um, I like to say that we are a small but mighty uh, film community out there. Uh, we, there's actually um, a lot of women filmmakers and, uh, and filmmakers of color. And um, because we have this, um, we're a little far flung, we really band together and help each other. You know, so so we tend to all be like one degree of separation from each other, and we you know we help we work on each other's films and and try and help each other any way we can. It's kind of like if one of us succeeds, all of us succeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and as a seasoned uh, a filmmaker, what are the changes you've seen? Not only from you know the mainland here and in Hawaii, uh, is it for the better, for the worse? Uh, you know, I'm sure there's ups and downs, peaks mm -hmm. and valleys. W what would your opinion be on that? I think, you know, the, the struggles of indie filmmakers are the same everywhere, that we still, uh, you know, are always perpetually struggling to fund our films. And of course, with what's going on with the current presidential uh, administration wanting to cut uh, vital, vital organizations like the, you know, Corporation for Public Broadcasting, like the NEA, NEH, um, that's only going to make our work harder in a lot of ways so so we're just going to have to keep fighting the good fight and standing up for these institutions that have funded such so much good work and you know we our our film was partially funded by the NEA and we absolutely couldn't have done it without them so we're we're going to stand up and fight for the NEA as well thank you for fighting the good fight uh, and as we wrap up here uh, i'm sure our audience would like to know how can we help support your film how can we help support hawaii and what can we do to follow this film and yeah just keep supporting it sure uh, so the film finding kukan is on facebook we're on instagram we're on twitter so you can find us by just looking up finding kukan in any of those places and we have a website findingkukan.com and that has uh, how do we i'm sorry how do we spell kukan uh, K U K A N. Okay. So finding Kukan, all one word, and um, and all our upcoming screenings are listed in all those places. And so you can just keep tabs with us or sign up for our email blast, and we'll let you know when things are happening. We'll definitely do that, and uh, wish you the best luck. Thank you so much for fighting the good fight. I want the chance to play the long shot. She was involved in a major storytelling of China for the world. 